Okay, I'm going to do every exam question that has been asked about exact trig values. Now, if you want to use this document, it is fully hyperlinked and linked in the description. If you saw my previous video, I did all three of these. It was a huge video because there's tons of these questions. There's actually not that many on exact values. They do kind of pop up in some other places, but just asking them by itself, they don't ask it a ton. But this first one here, they're obviously going to be from a non-calculator one, because for exact values, you can't use your calculator. It wants you to find the exact value of tan 30 times sine 60. Well, you need to know that tan 30 degrees is 1 over root 3, or you might memorize it as root 3 over 3. That's just one of the things you need to memorize. There are some memorizing techniques, um, but I'm not going to go into those here. I'm just going to be answering the questions. And sine of 60 degrees, you need to know, is root 3 over 2. So because it wants this to be in its simplest form, you can use either of these forms. This is probably the one that people memorize, so I'm going to go with that one that we've got here. So tan 30 multiplied by sine 60, you don't have to worry about the degree signs, is going to be, okay, I'm going to use this one that people remember. So I'm going to do my root 3 over 3 multiplied by root 3 over 2. Now, root 3 times root 3, well, that's root 9, or just 3. And obviously, root 3 times root 3 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. So I get 3 over 6, which just simplifies to a half, OK? Just simplifies to a half for that one. So you get half, and you get one mark for getting just one of these equal to each other. So if you knew that tan of 30 was 1 over root 3, or you might know it as root 3 over 3. OK, the next one we've got here says, write down the exact value of tan 45. This is another one that you need to know. Tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. So it then says, here is a right angle triangle. Cos 60 equals 0 0.5. They tell you this. Work out the value of x. Well, it's definitely going to be to do with cos because I have the hypotenuse, I have the adjacent, and they told us it was about cos. So it's to do with the um, adjacent and the hypotenuse. I know that the cos of 60 is equal to the adjacent, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse, because it's the a over h. Now, these are going to be 0 0.5. So we get 0 0.5 equals 4 over x, because they told us that. And then the little trick here is to kind of swap these things around. So x is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.5. Now, when you do 4 divided by 0 0.5, we don't normally like doing that kind of division. We don't like decimals inside fractions. So I'm actually going to double the top, and I'm going to double the bottom. 4 times 2 is 8, and 0 0.5 times 2 is 1. A much easier division, 8 divided by 1 is just 8. So our answer for x is that it's 8. So we get 1 for tan 45 and 8 for this part here. OK, this one is weird. It kind of blends a few different things together. But fundamentally, you do have to know exact trig values to do this. The table shows some values of x and y that satisfy the equation y equals a cos x plus b. And it says find the value of y when x is 45. So I think what we need to do to begin with is find out the value of a and the value of b. And I'm interested in the values in this table that look a little bit easier to deal with. I would be interested in this one, this one, or this one. I think those are probably the simplest. Maybe this one, maybe this one, but I think these three are the best. The two that I'm going to use are probably these two that we have here. I, I just think that cos of 0 and cos of 90 are going to be quite easy to find out. So bearing in mind that our equation is y equals a cos x plus b. Again, don't worry about the degree sign. I'm going to begin by using this one that I've got here. I'm going to say that when y is 3, which it says in the table, x is 0. So that's going to be a cos 0 plus b. Now, you need to know that cos 0, cos 0 is simply equal to 1. So that means that 3 equals, not 3a, three, 3 equals a times 1 plus b. So 3 equals a plus b. Now I'm going to use this in the next one. I'm going to say that when y is equal to 1, we get a cos 90 plus b. Well, cos 90 is 0. Again, if that's something you've memorized, you get that it's 0. So 1 equals a times 0, which is nothing, plus b. Ah, So that means that b is equal to 1. So I can put that over here. And that means that I get a plus 1. OK, so that must mean that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. In other words, we now know, putting that all together, y equals 2 cos x plus 1. 2 cos x plus 1. So we can now finally answer the question, 
find out the value of y when x is 45. So I'm going to sub that x as 45. So that is going to be 2 cos 45 plus 1. Now cos 45, people will remember this in two ways. I remember it as 1 over root 2, but some other people will probably remember it as root 2 over 2. This is what your calculator would show you. This is just how I remember it from triangles and stuff. So I'm going to go for this one that we have over here, which is the root 2 over 2. It is going to be 2 multiplied by root 2 over 2 plus 1. So we can simplify this. If you've got root 2, you're dividing it by 2 and multiplying it by 2. Those things simply just cancel out. So you just get left with y equals the square root of 2 plus 1. And there's nothing that can be simplified about this. So let's double check we've got this one here. We've got the root 2 plus 1. Uh, yep, we've got it written the other way around again, but it does say OE, and OE stands for or equivalent. So those are the three questions that I've come across that use exact values kind of explicitly, where they just say, what is the value of this thing? If you've watched my previous video, you'll see that it did come up in one other place as well, in a Sokotoa question, and there's some potential of it coming up in the next set of videos. So the next set of videos are all going to be about half AB sine C, which is the area of a triangle. And then we'll do the mixed ones, sine rule, cosine rule, or like that. So if you found this useful, please do like the video. Please do share it with anyone who might be doing their math GCSE as well. And subscribing to the channel will mean that you get all of these updates when they come along. So wishing you the best of luck with your revision, and I hope you have a great day.